hey it's Janae back with another vlog if you're new here welcome and if you are returning hey girl hey y'all it is day six or seven of vlogmas I think six but um the vlog that you are about to see or the footage rather is old from like late October early November mid-November um it's some footage for a vlog that I was working on but I never got a chance to finish filming and I never got a chance to edit it um but I still wanted to share this with you guys and last night I was talking to my sister telling her that I don't have a vlog for today and she was just like you don't have any old footage and I was like you know what I do so this is a lesson on resilience and being resourceful <laughs> um I hope you guys enjoy this vlog this video and yeah <laughs> so yes I am doing this on the floor I literally do like everything on the floor. It's just like a flat surface. Um, yeah. And so this is the frame, which I also got from Decenio. These pictures are 50 by 70 centimeters. Georgia is joining us. They're super easy to take apart. Just like move the little thingies around to try to slide everything out. So I'm just gonna open these up. I always keep these like whenever I put like pictures and frames but I put it back in there like behind the picture girl I don't know why it gives me like extra security or something once you take it apart there is a protective film on both sides so I'm just gonna remove that really quick and be super careful about like fingerprints and stuff You see what I mean about me being raggedy? And now I gotta clean this because there's like lint all over it, which is what I was actually trying to avoid. Georgia is always so curious about what I have. This is the wrong solution. I was saying Georgia is always so curious about what I have going on, but she won't let me do her hair. Hey. Yeah, like she'd rather walk around looking crazy like that than to sit down and let me like brush her and do her hair. Well, she'll let me brush her because I do it every other day just to keep her from matting. But as far as like redoing her ponytail, she'd be giving me all kind of mess. I'm gonna do it tomorrow though because I wanna take her outside. <laughs> Not like I take her outside every day, but like I wanna take her to the belt line to do like a really good walk because I want to walk I need some fresh air and I need her to look presentable not like a rescue y'all one time I was on a walk with her and this lady was like complimenting her and like saying she was cute and then she asked me if she was a rescue and I'm like I can't even be mad I could see how you would think that also y'all I took um when we moved I threw all of her toys away because they were so messed up and lifeless and um i let her keep one ball and this goofy this like goofy stuffed animal that she's had since she was a, a little a little puppy and um i think we left the ball in florida and i don't like i could not find it on our way out so i'm gonna have to find another ball in the meantime until we go back home all right so here's the picture I have some stuff that I want to unbox with you guys. Well, I done already kind of unboxed it. 
but I want to like show you guys there's so much new stuff in here since the last time we talked but um yeah so our second stop is the bedroom um I think I was talking to y'all about like my pillows and my bed last time I've tried some different stuff out but I have decided to keep the two king size pillows for sleeping I have these for sleeping too they're like standard queen pillows but these are not going on the actual bed because I just don't like the way they look when the bed is made up I have these two pillows for decor but I have two more that I'm going to add with y'all now because they came in from Amazon today and I'm super excited the smaller ones on the bed and I will link this stuff below I think that the pillows well the inserts are 22 by 22 and then the covers are 20 by 20 because you know you're supposed to overstuff your pillows so that they have like that really good look where you can like chop them in the middle um but I had to also get 26 by 26 and Ikea did not carry that particular size so I did order those from Amazon I made sure they were like down it's me turning the lights off because light bill um I did make sure they were like down pillows so they came today and they are in this box right here and I did also order some pillow inserts from Amazon as well that came and they are literally the perfect color for what I was going for so I'm just like super super excited so here they are they're like really flat when you first get them but they like open up I hope y'all can see me I feel like I have forgot how to vlog like I'm like rusty and I need to get it together because I need to get consistent again but y'all know work which we'll have to talk about they're already I can hear them like rising like bread excuse me Georgia the pillowcases are actually over here so these are velvet and they're in the color jam which is like so perfect for what I was going for it's like that rosy brown color that is the color of my blanket and the other pillowcases on the bed that I don't really plan on using the pillows for so um yeah this is a 24 by 24 case I got this from Amazon as well and I'm just gonna stuff the pillow in there it's kind of coming to life I am so in love with this color. It's called Jam, and they had this color in a few other textures too, but um, I found this blog post through Pinterest about like which textures to like layer together for your um, accent pillows and stuff. And my base was Velvet, which is the bigger pillows. And so it said Corduroy, which is that second texture I'm gonna show you on the bed. And then it was giving me like a this other fabric I can't remember what it was but I don't think I like it like that so I'm actually trying to find something small um, and like blue clay because that's kind of one of the textures that's throughout the apartment too like I have a blue clay pillow on my couch and then I have the blue clay like um, little like ottoman in front of the couch too you guys this is literally the perfect color like let me show you it flows so well with the blanket and I don't really use these but I had intentions on using these but they just don't fit the way I need them to um but yeah like it's so cute like this color just I could look at it and tell that it was going to be perfect online but it just really exceeded my expectations once it actually got here and then this is the corduroy texture that I was talking about so these are also down pillows that's why I was able to like chop them in the middle and then I overstuffed those inserts as well Okay, y'all, so here's the progress. It came out, like, super cute. My chopping could be better, but whatever. Um, the goal is just for my bed to look really comfy, cozy, fluffy, and I think that's what it gives. So I just need one more pillow to go right there, and that's the one I was saying I want to be, like, the little boucle or, like, another texture, but it'll be super light, like a cream to kind of like bring my headboard back into play. And then I got to show you guys the picture I got to go above the bed because that's going to also bring this together. So this picture, though, it is still kind of rolled up. It's also from Decenio, but you can see like the color matches here 
to kind of like bring that to life. I'm not exactly sure how I want to style above my bed quite yet. I know that I don't want to just put the picture up. I kind of want to put like a ledge there, like a like a light wood one, and like sit the picture on it, kind of like diagonal, and then put some other cute stuff up there, like a plant, um, a plant, um, maybe like an incense, something hanging, whatever, whatever. But I think I want to style like a ledge above the bed so yeah but this is so cute and it definitely like ties everything together i just i love it now i'm gonna show you guys what i got from amazon today and y'all probably gonna be so sick of me by the end of all of this but it is what it is um i have decided that because i've got so much stuff and i have not like consistently filmed it oh good job mama i am going to do like an amazon video I need to take that down, but I probably won't no time soon because I like it. Um, I'm going to do an Amazon video soon, like what I bought and how I styled it um, for YouTube. And I'm going to do it for like social media too. Um, but yeah, so first up are these cute little teaspoons. And because I'll be drinking honey again very soon because I'm going to work on like a little drink it, honey. So use the honey when I make tea. <laughs> Because I'm going to work on putting a little tea station in my bottom, um, oh, Jesus, in the bottom cabinet down here. Because I don't have any counter space for it, but I have like tons of cabinet space that I'm not using right now. So I'm going to like make a cute little tea station on the bottom. And then, um, yeah, my cups go up here, plates and bowls up there. I can't even reach that top, so I don't know what's going to go in there. I'm trying to find my scissors, which I did recover from my sister when I went home. I told y'all she stole my scissors. Now I can't find the scissors. I'm the one tripping now. Goodness, it feels so dark in here now that the sun has kind of like moved and it's getting later. Um, found the scissors. So, I kept saying that I was not going to put anything gold in here, but... Who am I kidding? I do still love a good gold accent. I just think it goes so well with like, oh, this is a lot more than I thought. I thought it was gonna be four spoons, there's six. Um, it just goes so well with like my color palette and I like having like hardware accents. This is so cute. So these are the little teaspoons that I'll be using to like stir like honey into my tea and I guess agave and anything else. Any other syrups I may be using. Y'all know I'm not a coffee girl, but I do love tea. So I'm excited to like add that in. I gotta wash these before using them, of course, but they are so cute. So these did come in the mail today. So cute, I will link them below. Also came in the mail are these kitchen utensils. So I did show you guys the the wooden ones I got for that planter over there to keep on the counter. But I told y'all, I don't plan on, I don't know why George is watching me like this. I don't plan on actually using those to cook. They're more just so for display and they were like really cheap. So I don't expect them to work that well, honestly. But I follow this girl on Instagram. I can't pronounce her Instagram name, but I love the vibes of her home. Oh my gosh, this came with a little holder. I'm not gonna use this. Well, yes I am. I'm gonna use it to, to store under the cabinet, but super cute. Um, I saw her post these in her Amazon store, so of course, I wanted to try them and I definitely wanted silicone, but I love that the handles are still wooden and they're like sturdy, so it's still aesthetic when I cook. Um, I got black because I was just like, I don't want anything to get like stained or anything like that. Um, it's so crazy, y'all. I've never seen a silicone whisk ever. I kept saying like, oh my God, I want to cook, I want to cook. But I still have not gone grocery shopping since living here. And then when I was going to go grocery shopping, I was like, I don't even have no pots and pans to like cook in. So I did order some pots. I mean... They're over there. But have I cooked yet? No, these just came today. So um, I'm planning on cooking for the first time this weekend and I'm so basic y'all, I want spaghetti. So I'm gonna show these to y'all once they're all out of the plastic. 
I gotta wash these two, of course, before using them. But yeah, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. I got everything I need, a spatula, spoons, a whisk. And I've never seen a, a silicone whisk, so I'm really tripping right now. But yeah, these are super cute, so I'm excited to wash those. This also came from Amazon today. These glasses that I'm super excited about because I've been wanting these for a while, but I just didn't get any. I kept saying that I wanted like a modern feel to my apartment, but the more and more I start buying stuff that kind of matches me and my vibe, it's cozy and I love that. It's like super, super cute and cozy and quaint and that's that's really what I wanted because it's so small and I spend so much time at work that I need my home to feel like home. So here are the little mugs. They say, is that sneeze? Sneeze? I don't know how I feel about there being like writing on the bottom of these. <laughs> I wanted them to be like completely clear because that's how they're advertised online. I don't, if this is not a sticker, I might be sending these back. I hate to be that person. They're still super cute, but I wanted completely clear unless they're usually, I don't know. I wanted it to be all glass. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna look again for a set that does not have a logo on the bottom. And again, y'all, I have so much other stuff. <sighs> so much, like I started all new, so. Oh, the pot set. It's eight pieces total, including the tops, but I don't need a lot of pots and pans. I don't cook like major meals like that. So this is perfect, it's what I need. Um, that's it. If I do find that I need more, I will of course proceed with adding on to this set because they had a bigger set, but I just didn't feel like I needed all of that. And I just wanted to make sure I had like proper space for, um, for all of this stuff. So this did also come with a couple utensils or maybe just one. I know there are tongs in here. And I actually have a really cute small pair of tongs over there, but these are cute too. They're silicone as well, so super cute. And then, what is this? It's a screwdriver, but I guess I have to assemble something. Probably the tops. What are these? And the handles. Okay, I don't remember my last pot set being like this, where I had to like put it together. But I bought it out of Walmart, so there's that. Um. Okay, so. I guess we're gonna assemble the pot show. Cause I might as well just go ahead and like wash this stuff. Though I don't, I could cook tonight, but I don't, I don't feel like it. But then again, I could. If it's just gonna be something as simple as like spaghetti, I really want some spaghetti. This is so cute. It's like a little griddle, little griddle, griddle pan. Here are the tops, and they don't have the little things on top. Hold on, I'm gonna get a phone call. <laughs> I had to put the pot together, so I was doing that while I was on the phone. We're gonna do the second one together, or the third one together, rather. So I had to put the top <laughs> together, and then I put the handle on too. And luckily it did come with like all the tools to do so with. So here is the other one. It's almost like there are little gold specks on the inside. I'm not sure, but can y'all even see that? I'm always trying to show y'all something that's like impossible to see, but it's kind of like gold on the inside, but the outside is like little brown specks. So for the pen, take this out I really want to like make some spaghetti tonight because I want some food like but it means I have to fully go grocery shopping because I started a list of like all the things I need I haven't bought anything or like seasonings condiments nothing and I swear like if I start I'm gonna want to finish and 
I don't feel like driving to Publix, but Kroger is up the street and I don't shop in Kroger. So if I grab some ingredients to make spaghetti tonight from Kroger, I'm gonna feel like I gotta buy all my seasonings. Like, no, I'm gonna just wait and do it the way that I wanna do it. I think I'm gonna go back to Chick-fil-A tonight and get some um, chicken noodle soup, it's so good. So, put this here. Okay, after trial and error, I got it. It's not as flush as I would like for it to be, but we're here. So, um, I'm actually wondering if this other top works on here too, just in case I ever have to use it. And it does. So this top also works on this, which I love. I will have this stuff linked in the description box. And I think that's all. Oh, I wanna show y'all one more thing that I did get today from Amazon. So these little magnets for the refrigerator, I just, I had to have them. Um, I wanted some like the old school fruit magnets at first, but I was like, let me just chill. And this is what I mean about the gold accent. So I really wanted to put the postcards or the little birthday cards that came with my birthday flowers up on my refrigerator because I thought it was like super cute. These were the flowers from me to me. This was from my really good friend, Alicia. And this was from my best friend, Whitney. Um, they all sent me flowers from Fresh Scent. Oh, they all. I got flowers for myself from Fresh Scent and then they both sent me flowers from Fresh Scent too. So yeah, that's all that I want to show you guys today. I have a lot of stuff going on in this apartment. Um, oh, the other thing. This is what TaskRabbit was actually coming here for. To put my best of units together so I could get my TV off the floor slash off that Home Depot box. So I do have to spend some time organizing. Not that I want to open organizing the inside of these because I really wanted to get this for the extra storage and I love that it's like still super small and it doesn't take up like too much of the space in like the living room area because y'all know I live in a small apartment um I'm gonna pick back up with y'all later I'm gonna get some food oh one more thing in the bathroom which is like supposedly wow Supposedly these this week's like overarching project, but we'll see. I did get my paper towel dispenser installed today. I am not 100% sold on this idea. I was at first because I saw it at my esthetician spot and I was like so in love with it. It is super cute, but I still gotta figure out if this is really what I want. I mean, it's up now, so it is what it is. However, um, I wanted something like really sanitary and I didn't want the one that goes on the counter because I just didn't want too much stuff on the counter. So it's up on the wall and it is cute and it's minimal so we'll keep it. I got that orchid for my birthday from my manager. She's so cute. But I also did put these up finally. Um, so they're really colorful. I thought about like changing out the bottles and stuff for those. But I like it the way that it is. I like the added color and the fun. And I like looking at the brands that I'm using and all that stuff. So yeah. But uh, we in the dark. We in the dark. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all. Happy Wednesday. Me and my days be all over the place. Okay, y'all, so I got up this morning, had a lash appointment. I got my lashes done, because y'all know yesterday, I don't know if y'all peeped, my lashes were looking insane. I also got my brows done, ran to the mall, I had to return something from Aritzia, and I went to Ikea, so let me show you guys what I got. Y'all, I have been so pressed to like use this wagon ever since I got it. So I am very excited that I was able to use it today. I mean, I've been using it, but definitely used it today. My hair looks crazy. It's because my lash tech, Cinnamon, like when she does my lashes, she likes to rest her wrist like right here on my, like right on my hairline, like right on my edges. I think that's normal, but I never really noticed it until she started doing my lashes, no problem at all. It's just something I noticed. And then my old lash tech from when I was living in Florida, she used to put like 
the actual sticker with the lashes on it on my forehead and we'll pull the lashes from there and I actually had to ask her to stop doing that <laughs> um but yeah so let's do a quick Ikea haul let me set up for that so we're on the floor y'all already know the vibes and of course Georgia is right in front of me like girl can I please get in on this anyway so I picked up this little like faux lavender plant I love dry lavender like the artificial and the real so i actually purchased this because it was the last one can you back up and um i have another one that i got from target but it looks it looks like super fake it's up at the front it's almost like not even it might not even be lavender it may be another plant because it's actually like super baby blue now that i'm like looking back at it it's more blue than like lavender anyway and I got this pot for this to sit in. I think that's what I'm going to keep this in. But I got this for like my front kitchen area because I want to bring more lavender into the space because that's supposed to be one of the colors that I'm using in here to like balance out the neutrals. Um, and then I also got this new plant. She is a big girl. So we have to come up with a name for her. My other plant is a Birds of Paradise and I did name her Sahara. Shout out to my girl Destiny because she gave me the idea for that name um I also picked up this frame for my other picture that I showed you guys yesterday from Decenio for my bedroom I wanted a wood frame for it just to give the room some more like depth because everything in there is like so white but um yeah that's the frame and we're gonna put the picture in there today Georgia what do you want girl and then I got this vase this one is for my bedroom. I do have one up here that's clear, but um, I really like this color. And every time I go to Ikea, I look at it and I never get it. Georgia. Y'all, she still has not let me do her hair. Not running away. Go over there. Go over there. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I got this for my room because this is my accent color in there. Like that brownish pink rosy color. And so I do plan on keeping like some flowers in here. I may either get those like faux tulips off of Ikea or just that's probably what I'm going to do because I, I'm already going to like continuously buy like fresh flowers for up here. But I just want something like consistent in the room. I don't know, whatever. So I'll probably just get the tulips because they are really, really pretty. So there's that. And then I have to get this bag out of the way show you guys everything else I did buy another Ikea bag because I have one but I I always leave it at home when I go to Ikea and it's just like all right I gotta start actually using it so the first thing I want to show you guys is a wine opener I guess that's what this is. I think that's the actual name of this or there may be like a technical name for it but that's what it is shoot a wine opener corkscrew thingy whatever it is but I don't have one um and then this is for like you know bottles and stuff I do love the um Harito sodas and they don't come with like a twist cap so this is perfect for that and then um yeah for when I have wine I also got this some of this stuff that I picked up today is like things that like I looked at my first and second trip to like Ikea when I first moved can you please move but um, they weren't on the essential list. But now that I have like all of my major things purchased, I can now go back for like the little BS, you know. Um, but I wanted this for like my plants and my flowers. Um, I don't have a balcony here, but I do have two really big windows that offer me great sunlight. So I am able to like keep my plants alive. And then if I need to take my plants outside, I will. I will literally put them in the cart so they can get like some <laughs> direct sunlight. Um, but yeah, I got this little spray thingy for that. Um, just to like wet the leaves and all that good stuff. I got another vase. This one is specifically for roses. I just needed something like long stem. I noticed when I got roses for my birthday, I didn't have a vase that would like truly, truly hold them the way I need them to. Um, so I just felt like roses would be really pretty in this vase. And then I think that this would also go really well in my living room. Once my TV is mounted, I'll probably put this on the media console that's in the way on the media console i just think that that would be a really cute place for this to go and i got these mugs what is this? oh 
well, measuring cup. I tried to buy one from Target last week, but they only had like the giant one, Georgia. I don't know why she liked to come stand directly in front of the camera lens like sis. Anyway, when I went to get this measuring, a measuring cup from Target last week, they only had like eight cups and it's like, I don't need eight cups. And if I do, I can just fill this up four times. <laughs> Um, but generally speaking, I like me two or four cups anyway. And plus you guys know small space. I wanted something small. So there's that. My hair looks crazy. I'm trying to find this. Here it is. I'm like, I know I got two of these mugs. I just got these two mugs. I thought they were super cute. They're like fluted. I think that's the term for this type of design where it's like the little lines or whatever on the side and they're like an off white. So these are just for tea. Cause y'all know. I do not drink coffee. Um, it's not that I don't drink coffee. I just, I don't drink it like often. And I got these other two mugs. These were a set and I love, love, love the color. Let me see. So just to add some color in my life, I picked these up too thought these were super cute and it was a set they were like probably two dollars i think like two dollars and 39 cents i got more utensils forks knives and spoons i think i want to i think this is i'm not sure and then the last thing in here from ikea are just some tupperware folds or whatever so i got different sizes with like the wooden tops so i got this big one this one, I got a circular one, this one, and this one. So I will probably get more Tupperware, but I just don't foresee myself needing like a whole, whole lot. But this will be really good for like fruits and you know, stuff like that. <laughs> um, and then yeah, so that's basically what I got from Ikea today. It's not like a whole lot of stuff to show. I have been shopping for this apartment that I miss so much that it's just like, I'm literally starting from scratch. So it's like I'm just buying all new stuff. Um, now this is from Target. This is non-apartment related, but it is super cute. It is a little crew neck with like, Bar it's a Barbie crew neck, but all of the girls are black. <laughs> this is just so cute. So this is just something to throw on around the house or something like that. You guys know, I just love having cute little like novelty stuff. I don't have any fashionable plans with this crew neck. I just want it in my wardrobe because it's super cute. It gives like, put this on after you take like a really good shower, whatever. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested in it because it is super cute. But yeah, so that is all for my Ikea haul situation, everything over here. We're gonna go put this picture in its frame and then we are going to the grocery store finally. Remember I told you guys I wanted to take my time to go grocery shopping. I wanted to go when I wasn't like in a rush and all of that, I was able to put my list together. And so I did that and I can finally go to the grocery store in peace. <sighs> so here is the frame. Let me take this plastic off of it. I think this is actually art, like inside of it, this, but she don't go with nothing. So we gonna take her out. Okay y'all, so it is in the frame and I actually love it in the wooden frame. I think it is so cute and it gives like more color to the room because everything is so like neutral. So like I was saying yesterday, what I'm thinking about is doing like a ledge above the bed so that I could put the picture on the ledge as well as like some other really cute stuff like maybe even a smaller picture in a frame. Um, some incense, a candle, cute stuff like that. Like I'll find like a really cute way to like style it above the bed, but I am really loving it so far. I just need a little fluffy pillow, preferably boucle to go right in front here to like tie the lighter colors back in cause it got super warm <laughs> in the pillows. But 
I don't know, it's coming along, I like it. And then of course this base goes right along with it and depending on how wide the ledge is, I could probably put the base up there with some flowers. So we will see. Somebody needs a nap. I'm tired girl. <laughs> she ain't even paying attention to me. Also, I don't know if I showed y'all this yesterday, but I put this really cute little plant in the um, loft window above my door and I gotta find like a small cute pot for it because it's just in that little black pot. It is not real, but it is super cute and it's perfect. <sighs> so, now I'm going to get my bags out so we can go to the grocery store. I swear the wall behind me where my happy birthday balloons are will probably be the last wall I do. I don't know what to do right there. Like, I don't wanna leave it completely bare. I don't want pictures on it because there's like, that's just such an easy cop out to me. It's like there's already pictures over here in the hallway, a picture right there. And then depending on how high, no, nah, you won't be able to see it. That's my bedroom wall. This The wall that you can see like behind the dip tea bag that's my bedroom wall. So this is the wall I was saying you can see from like the living room. So I wanted to maybe paint that wall or paint that one. That's my other bedroom wall that you can also see from like out here. So I don't know yet. I don't know. I really need a stool because the bags are way up there and I cannot reach that. Like I'm on my tippy toes. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is I am back home I am so beat from grocery shopping Like, first of all Hold up, sorry, the camera's shaking I went to, um Bed Bath & Beyond and Target first Because I needed to go Return something to Bed Bath & Beyond Which I ended up buying more stuff Um, but I needed some more plugins and stuff, so I went to Target too before I went to the grocery store. So that set me back about two hours. And then I finally went to the grocery store and got so much stuff. Like I you guys kind of got like a peek at my cart. Um I put like everything in the cart um or the wagon to bring inside. But it's just like so much stuff. Get down. Um I'm about to try to Organize my refrigerator and put the stuff away to the best of my ability. I am honestly, I mean, it's not that late. I can, I can do it. I never took the time to like organize my little pantry and stuff just because like I wasn't using it. I kind of just been throwing stuff in there, like whatever. So I guess I'm about to take the time to like kind of sort of do that now. Um, I don't know, I guess, child. but we're going to see. I didn't get like a whole. I want to be like I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. It's just that I didn't get a lot of food. I got a bunch of seasonings and now I'm thinking like, do I even need all of this? But I'm just thinking about the um, like the seasonings, the seasoning cabinet at my old place and how like everything was there, like everything that I needed. <laughs> um, and then sometimes I make like, I don't know, whatever. I be making stuff that calls for like ginger seasoning and it's like, oh, okay, like I need some ginger. So I went ahead and like bought it. But um, I guess we can work on putting all this stuff. But I feel like I need to like turn on some music and like really truly vibe out to do this. There's literally even more stuff over here. And um, yeah. I need to like wash dishes like from the new stuff that I got and just you know get my life together I need to get my life together I put my bar table together and it's like wobbling it's like shaking so I need to figure out what's going on with that if y'all heard that little like rattling rattling noise when I set the that noise when I set the camera down I'm like oh my goodness but yeah I'm probably just gonna turn on some music get comfortable vibe out show y'all the finished product because i don't know how this about to go <laughs> okay y'all so it's like 11 15 i am so ready to wrap this up um i'm gonna stop for the night but i'm gonna show y'all like the progress i've made we'll start over here 
So I did clean out this cabinet and turn it into where like my pots and pans go and all of my cooking stuff. So my mixing bowls are over there. Strainer is there. Utensils are there. Um, measuring cup, pots, pans, and then the cutting boards are over there in the corner. And then this, um, I had to rearrange a little bit. But um, I did tell you guys I want to like set up a little tea situation down here. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to get like some cute little holders and stuff to put everything in. But these are my two favorite teas, stress relief and immune support. Um, and I put my cinnamon in here. I'm going to like transfer this stuff to, you know, cute little dispensers. My mugs will go right above it. So I have some more mugs coming from Amazon. But these are the ones that I got from Ikea that I showed you guys earlier. I want my tippy toes. <laughs> Right above that are like my drinking glasses. So like water, juice, all that. Um, these super cute ones right here are from Ikea. They're like pink. I really, really love those. Um, and then my champagne flutes and wine glasses are up at the very top because I don't drink wine super often. So I was like, I'll just put those at the top. And yeah. So this next cabinet situation, and y'all, I have to get a stool ASAP because I've been standing on my little like boucle ottoman thingy or whatever it's called, and I can't be standing on that. But I did it for the sake of this, but I will be getting a stool. Like I put one in my Amazon cart, so I need to check out. But anyway, so up here, I have like the Tupperware up at the top and then, or storage containers, whatever you want to call those. And then like my bowls and plates are here. Because I have such an untraditional like kitchen setup and it's small, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. But I think this is the most functional so far. So the cabinet, I'm stepping on the stool. <laughs> the cabinet up here above my microwave is where my seasonings are going to go. So all of this stuff is going to get transferred to something cuter. Except this, obviously, because it's a spray. Um, but I do have, hold on, let me turn y'all around. I bought this Lazy Susan from Target. Originally, I bought this for my refrigerator, but all of my seasonings are in here. I do plan on getting the cute bottles and like transferring everything from, you know, this to the cute stuff. But I think this is going to be a really good way to kind of keep up with it because that cabinet is so high. I just don't imagine myself getting on a stool just to get one seasoning. I'm probably just going to end up pulling this whole thing down so that I can like cook in peace. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put this up there at the top. Here is, this is my pantry. So it is a little narrow situation over in the cut. So that top, top, top shelf up there, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna go up there, but um, this is where like my canned goods and stuff will go. I do have like condiments in here as of now simply because I haven't opened this stuff yet, but once it's open, it will go in the refrigerator. Um, I have like some stuff right here that I need to transfer into these, but these will go up there. And then I have three drawers down here. So the first drawer is where my silverware is. So there's that. And then right below it is just like extra stuff. So I have like lighters here because candles. Um, and I probably will end up moving this to a different place, but for now it's fine. These are my matches from Diptyque. My teaspoons are here. I'm going to find some way to incorporate them into the tea cabinet, maybe. I don't know. Um, measuring spoons and cups are here. This is my funnel for like my dish detergent and my hand soap. Can opener is here, as well as the corkscrew. And this is the sharpener for my knives. And then the drawer below it has to like get organized a little bit better than this, but it's just like miscellaneous stuff dish towels and rags, my trash bags are down here, aluminum foil, um, some little car fresheners, stickers, sponges. And then right below that is where Georgia's food is and her treats. So I'll probably end up installing something cute that will allow me to like slide this out, but for now this is fine. So a few of her treats are there, some extra bowls in the back, and then this is her food. She heard me say her name, she came over here. <laughs> Hair still looking crazy. That's about it for now. Like my refrigerator is still pretty empty and disorganized. Like 
we'll get to her later honestly like right now it's just too late um because i did like reorganize all these cabinets clean them out sanitize them i washed all that new stuff because i got those wine glasses today those champagne flutes today those mugs today um so yeah i had to wash it of course before putting it up into my cabinet so that just took some time too um and yeah like i think i showed y'all my pots and stuff already yesterday i think this is actually my favorite cabinet it's just i think it's super cute um and then maybe tomorrow during the day i'll do a, a i said i was gonna do this yesterday so please forgive me um i'll do a daytime overview i do have to get up in the morning to do some stuff so i will like make sure it's really clean in here and we'll do like a quick little like overview of my apartment progress so far but yes, y'all, I'm about to head to bed. It is now 11.21. I need to take a shower and I just want to sit down somewhere. You know, I've been running around all day trying to pack a lot into my off days. Oh, and then before I go, I think I showed y'all this when I was at the grocery store, but Issa's November L cover is so gorgeous. I can't wait to like flip through that magazine because I'm just so in awe of her like i love 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 Issa Rae. i don't think we ever talked about that but i love me some Issa Rae. so yes y'all um i will check in with y'all tomorrow <sighs> i've had a long but productive day i got a lot done i'm just super excited that i finally have food in here even though it's not like a substantial amount it's a great start because I was really struggling with like cooking and stuff because I didn't have pots and I didn't have no seasonings <laughs> or anything like that. So I'm just happy that I'm making like, you know, progress because I want to stop eating out. It's costly. Um, but yeah, y'all, I will see y'all tomorrow.